last night's heated Sunflower Showdown, a lot was on the line. A top three ranking in college basketball, a possible one seed in the NCAA tournament, and for some Jayhawk fans, the fight for good and evil. To Allen Fieldhouse we go. Biggest games of his career. The Hawks came out on fire as Xavier Henry knocked down his first two three point attempts of the game, helping Kansas jump out to an early first half lead. Kansas scored the first six points of the game and led by as many as 13 in the first half. In the tale of the Twins, Marcus was relatively quiet, but Markeith Morris had himself quite the game, putting up 10 points and pulling down nine rebounds. It was an active scoring Jayhawk team as Tyshawn Taylor showed a little razzle-dazzle of his own, shaking K-State defenders and kissing the glass. Although K-State was down, they certainly weren't out. Jacob Pullen knocks down a three here with the assist by Denny Clemente, who led the Wildcats with 21 points. The roof of Allen Fieldhouse nearly blew off when Marcus delivered some toast and Cole added the jam with four minutes left in the first half. Although K-State would tie this game up in the second half, the Hawks seem to take control as Sharon knocks down his only three of the night. With about 30 seconds left, Sharon lays in what would be his final bucket ever at Allen Fieldhouse, giving him 17 points on the night. The senior received an extraordinary standing ovation as he walked off the court for the final time. Sharon will go down in Kansas history with a list of achievements, including the winningest player to ever play ball for the Jayhawks. The Hawks would wrap this one up with a final score of Kansas 82 and Kansas State 65. An emotional Sharon had this to say after the game. With that being said, yeah, I'm not going to go. I'm going to try to be the most of these in my last piece of the year now. I'm going to message to all the fans. We're going to need you. We're going to need your support. We're going to need your cheer. We're going to need you to come out and support us. And all the things we're going to be in this tournament. Let's win another title. I love you. I'm trying to win gives KU the Big 12 championship outright for the sixth year in a row. Up next, a quick trip on I-70 to Columbia, Missouri, where the Hawks will face off against the Tigers. Tip-off is set for 1 o'clock. You can catch that game on CBS. On a darker and slightly less emotional note, the women's team was in action as well last night and lost again. The Jayhawks traveled to Lincoln to take on the undefeated Cornhuskers, but with injuries and inexperience, the Jayhawks continued to struggle. KU's Annette Davis led Kansas with nine points, which wasn't nearly enough to match Kelsey Griffin's 18 points and Dominique Kelly's 16. KU will play its final conference game at home this Saturday against the 12th ranked Texas A&M Aggies. That game is scheduled to start at 7 p.m.